Hey, my dad just picked up this guitar and a matching amplifier. And as far as I could tell, it's a early to mid 60s guitar and matching amp. Pretty neat, huh? So anyway, uh, it is the brand name. Yeah, let's see, does that show up? There we are. Howard. Totally weird. Uh, but I'm guessing it's like a Tiesco or uh, however you pronounce it. Uh, it was very common, it says here on the back, on the weird neck plate made in Japan. But um, it's very common for uh, these very low budget Japanese guitars to be made by some company, some factory, and then they brand them whatever you want. So um, I think uh, K, Harmony, uh, the Tesco, whatever. I mean, really, like whatever you wanted, if you just bought enough of, you know, your minimum order or whatever, and you said, here's what I want for the logo, and boom. So uh, this is like a I mean, it's just like a metal sticker that goes on, but pretty wacky. Uh, I'll get to that in a second. I'm going to show you this amp first that went with it. Uh, it is a Howard, again, branded Howard, and it's a trem tone. And when I Googled it, like one of the first things that popped up, and then it was like corroborated by three or four more people on different uh, web pages and chat, you know, things, that this is one of the worst sounding amplifiers ever produced. Uh, I'm going to do a review. I'm going to, I haven't even turned this on yet. I'm terrified uh, because people that seem to know a whole lot more than me have constantly posted online, whatever you do, do not play through that amp because I guess it has like zero safety features and it doesn't have um, like an input transformer or something so that the you know power coming in from the wall is just like right straight into everything and it could short circuit like and kill you so uh, I'm gonna borrow a wireless system because I'm pretty sure if the amp's five feet away from me and I turn it on, I can't get electrocuted from it through thin air. So anyway, uh, so we have this guitar and uh, I mean it's, you know, a cheap Japanese guitar. running it through a, um, a Supro Black Magic combo. Uh, so, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a nice tube combo. But, I mean, it sounds okay. You know, it's nothing great. It has like that weird kind of bridge that when I change the strings, it isn't attached or anything. It's just like, just, you know, sitting there. But... It's a cool sounding guitar, and uh, that's about it. I think it's mahogany, it seems like. Uh, there's a couple of spots where it's kind of worn through, and it doesn't look like it's... Yeah, see there's a chunk right here, and it doesn't look like it's plywood, but who knows. And it has, you know, this little gold foil pick up dealy and that's about it so 
it's kind of cool, kind of interesting, um, a cheap, <coughs> excuse me, a cheap uh, beginner guitar from the 60s. And uh, I'm going to do a video on the amp when I get that wireless thing and uh, work up the courage to, to do that. Uh, uh, the, on, the on switch is actually the tone knob. So, you know what, I'll probably get like rubber or plastic, um, you know, what do you call it there? Uh, tongs or something and turn it because I don't know if I want to get really super close to it. The face plate on it is metal and you know inputs and outputs and stuff are um, you know tightened right onto the mounted right onto the metal face plate. But anyway stay tuned for that. Uh, hopefully I'll do that in the next couple of days. <laughs> 